Hello and happy March. It's Trout Lowen here with your monthly housing market report for the Twin Cities. There is some interesting stuff happening in the housing market right now. So today I'm gonna to talk about three things. One, what's happening to home prices in the Twin Cities, Seven County Metro area. Two, what's happening to the inventory of homes for sale. And three, what's happening with days on market. That is realtor speak for how many days it takes to sell a home. Let's dive right in. The big news here on home prices is that they're flattening for the first time literally in like five years or more. Check out this graph, folks. Since 2013, home prices have been on a steady upward trajectory. And from February 2020 to February 2022, the median average home price rose from $290,000 to $245,000. That's an average increase of $2,400 a month every month. But since November of last year, we've seen a flattening of home prices. The average median sale price last November was about $365,000 and it edged up to $367,000 in January and stayed the same in February. So while home prices did increase year over year by about 6.4%, that trend seems to be changing. And if you take new construction homes out of the mix and just look at existing home sales, that number's essentially been flat since September of last year. The median average sale price for an existing home in the Seven County metro area was $349,900 last September, and it was $350,000 in February. So essentially, prices have been flat for six months. I'd say that's a trend. That slowdown in home price escalation is really good news for buyers who've seen their purchasing power decline with rising interest rates. And if you're thinking of selling and you've had your home for a few years now, you are still going to realize the benefits of all of that growth. Over the past 10 years, the median average home price has risen from $173,000 to $367,000. That's 112% or 11% a year on average. That is a lot of growth in equity. All right, let's move on to the inventory of homes for sale. This is a good news, bad news story. First, take a look at the number of new listings last month compared to the previous two years. It is not a pretty picture. New listings are down 28% over two years. Ouch. But the new listings don't tell the whole story if you're a buyer. If you're looking at active listings, that's the total number of homes for sale the picture looks a little different. The number of homes for sale in the seven county metro actually rose 10.5% year over year, which tells us that homes are staying on the market longer. But if you look back to February 2021, you can see that February 2022 was kind of a low point for inventory. And in fact, February 2022 is kind of the lowest point in terms of homes for sale inventory of the last 10 years. So if new listings are going down, but the number of homes for sale is rising, that indicates that homes are staying on the market longer, which is my third point. With rising interest rates causing a slowdown in the buyer's market, the median number of days on market, remember now, that is the number of days it takes to, from when you list a home for sale to when it goes under contract, have more than doubled year over year, from 17 days last February to 43 days in this just past month. Now, I know that's gonna sound like a lot, and if you're a buyer, you're thinking, discount city, baby, but that is not really what's happening. You have to remember that February 2022 was pretty much the lowest inventory point since the beginning of the pandemic. I also wanna note that, as you can see in this graph, 43 days on market is really much closer to the norm in terms of homes for sale in February over the past five years. So just to recap what I've talked about here. One, home prices are flattening, and that is good news for buyers. And sellers really shouldn't worry too much because they've had years of rising home prices to increase the value of their homes. Two, the number of listings coming to market continues to dwindle, but the number of homes for sale has been growing, and that's because it's taking longer for homes to sell. Number three, Sale time has actually doubled year over year, but it's really not that much different than it was before COVID and record low mortgage interest rates upended the housing market as we know it. 
I hope this information has been helpful to you. If you have questions or if you want to know how these market trends affect your plans to buy or sell a home, call, text, or email me. I'm here to help. Again, my name is Jay Trout Lowen, and I'm a Minneapolis realtor and an expert at helping buyers and sellers navigate the Twin Cities housing market. Until next month, thank you for watching.